Uh, right close traffic, lift took off 25 alpha 2042. So remember what I was saying during the taxi about uh, the wind on takeoff. It's coming slightly from the right side, so with the ailerons, I'm going to correct so it doesn't try and lift this wing. So I'm going to roll into it so it doesn't try and, try and lift that wing. So we've got a runway 25 on the ground, that's behind us, that was confirmed. We've got good heading, matches up, heels to the floor. I'm pointing that in there, full power, here we go. If I release that, it's trying to lift that wing slightly. Yeah, so I'm just keeping my uh, my wing into it. Gauge are on the green, airspeed is alive. Waiting for 65, 65. Up we go, welcome to the sky. Welcome to the sky, we got it this time. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Then of course, once we're in the sky, we relieve that, uh, that dip, right. and the nose kind of goes into the wind, so you can crab into the wind a little bit. Yeah, speed's a little bit low. What's the VY? 76. 76, roger. 76 knots, full power, the hand is still on the throttle, just pushing it forward, uh, waiting until 700 feet to make my right turn. Kind of have a check behind me, make sure I'm following the runway centre line, which we are. 700 feet, right side's clear, make a nice climbing right turn. And what I tend to do is, because we just took off on runway 25, I try and put that heading bug on, on the wing. And that should give me a nice uh, a nice crosswind. But also kind of looking at the at the runway as well. Remember ground reference, it's all about referencing. We're right. 76 knots, still VY, looking good. We're outside of the opposite runway. So, oh, sorry, sorry, the crossing runway. So we're going to turn downwind. 1,100 feet is what I'm looking for. By the time you're on downwind, you usually find yourself at around your, your traffic pattern altitude. So at that point, you're going to start levelling the plane off. All you got to worry about is uh, the trim, because my trim is out of whack at the moment. So I'm going to help myself out with some trim. Power settings are around 2200 RPM or so. And you're maintaining a nice distance. See, we're outside of the crossing runway. Right. It's got a nice distance between us and the airport. And what you can do, you can go on to Executive Tower and tell him uh, that we're at midfield. Executive Tower, Cherokee 32042, reporting midfield downwind. Cherokee 042, thank you. Runway 25, number one, clear for the option. 042, clear for the option, runway 25. Do you know what the option means? You can either do a full stop. Clear for the option, fly runway heading. Runway heading, 042. Full stop, or you can do the touch and go. Yeah, exactly. We're beam the numbers. Power back to 1700. We're within the white arc. First notch of flaps. I'm slowing down to 80 knots. Around 80 knots, I'm going to give myself one. Roll the trim down. And just come down. You see how we're maintaining 80 knots there with a nice little descent rate. Kind of looking at the ground reference, still maintaining a nice distance from it. Nice and parallel. 80 knots, coming down. At around this point, outside this lake, that's where I like to turn. I don't for your base. Yeah, for the base. Yeah, for the base. Yeah. So we're going to turn there. We're going to lose a bit of lift in the uh, turn. So I'm going to add just a little bit of power so we don't sink. Second notch of flaps once we're level. One roll of trim down. And you're looking for around 75 knots. Okay. I'm going to back off that power that I put in because we'll level again and that should help me get it down to around 75 knots right there. We're clear on final. No one's coming in. We've been cleared for the option. And then judge it to come in. Do you remember what our approach speed is? 65. Cool man. So we're at 75 at the moment. And we're lining up with the runway. Airspeed slightly high. So we're going to go on the last notch of flaps. Now, I'm taking my feet off the rudder and you can see the nose wants to go that way. Right. That's because the wind is pushing on the tail and pushing the nose that way. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip in with a little bit of uh, aileron control into the wind. And I'm just using a little bit of left rudder to keep the nose on the centre line. That's how I'm compensating for this wind. And I'm going to do that all the way to touchdown and just whatever I need to keep that. So I'm looking at my aiming point on the runway, my airspeed's fine, I'm not going to look at that anymore. I'm going to move my eyes to the end of the runway now, power idle, and I'm just going to hold the nose up to it. And notice how while we're on the ground, I'm still using aileron control while we're on the ground, because it's still trying to lift that wing. Flaps, trim, full power. Still got the aileron control in there, 65 knots, rotate, still need a bit of uh, trim control in there, there we go, and welcome back to the sky. 
ATO controls, sir. My control, ATO controls. It's a busy, busy procedure. It is very, very busy. I felt like my, I had a little bit too much energy. Right. But you saw, I didn't force it down. I just held the nose off a little bit. Right. I was just holding it off, letting the speed bleed off with power idle. And he said the uh, runway heading, so we're just going to maintain runway heading for now. So he calls it, right? Yeah. Zero four two behind that traffic. Crosswind is approved. Crosswind approved behind the traffic. Zero four two. So once he's two four follow the. Once he's uh, passing off that uh, that wing, we can make the turn. All right. I don't think I got this, by the way. This is really bumpy. I don't know if I'm oh, going to be able to You got it, man. You're fine. You're fine. You got it. Nothing bad's going to happen. I'm not going to let anything bad happen. We can turn on the crosswind now. Nice, easy turn. It did. It, it got a little bit gusty, though, didn't it? Yeah, it's gotten yeah. a little bit gusty. So just take a look out at the, uh, at the runways. We're kind of angled towards it. Right. But it's okay because we want to turn downwind. But on a crosswind, you know, nice and symmetrical traffic pattern, as symmetrical as you can get it. So you can turn onto the downwind now, that's fine. Just get us up to that 1,100 feet. Nice. Cool. Change of plans, extend down, I'm going to call your base for one departure. On a downwind, we can pull the power back and cruise it out a little bit. Nice. Beautiful distance. Beautiful, symmetrical as well. Nice and parallel. And 042 is a beam. 042, thank you, sir. Look for traffic at your uh, 2 o'clock in the base to final. Skyhawk, number 2 to follow that traffic. Runway 25, clear for the option. 042, eyes on traffic, clear for the option. The All right, so we're past, the, uh, past the, uh, we're past the, the numbers. It was slightly low. It's okay, this is the first time we're doing it. So the power is 1700, which is where it is now. One notch flaps. Skyhawk, 12 o'clock, runway 25, clear for the option. And then you're going to pitch for that 80 knots. Pitch for 80 knots, and we're just referencing that traffic. We don't want to cut him off. We just want to wait till he's passing off the wing before we turn for before a base. Before we turn, Drop exactly. Zero, you copy. That'll give him plenty of space to get out of our way. Okay. Seven seven zero number four to follow the Skyhawk at 12 o'clock. Now turn base. Down turn base. Let's do action. it. Very very nice, man. Air speed's looking good. There you go. There you go. You felt yourself come up a little bit there. Nope. Alrighty, second notch of flaps, please, sir. Then we're going to aim for 75 knots. You feel that nose want to rise? You can give yourself some trip forward if you if you want to. And nice and symmetrical. Just level out the wings there, giving plenty of time to uh, to get down and get out of our way. Beautiful airspeed. We're going to need your help on this. <laughs> You're going to be yep, absolutely, man. I'm here all the way. Okay, we're turning the final now. Nice turn to final. And just remember, we're going to we want to be power off with our eyes at the end of the runway and just holding the nose up to it. It's all about airspeed control. Very nice lineup, beautiful. Alrighty, final notch of flaps. Now we want to start slowing it down to 65 knots. I'm here all the way with you. Just pull that nose up a little bit. You see, we've gone a little bit low. We got the four lights. So how do we how do we maintain it at altitude? With the power, power. So add a little bit of power so we don't sink. There you go. Add a little bit more power. There you go. So what that's going to help you do is maintain altitude. So you just maintain altitude for a little bit until you get the two whites, two reds. There it is. So now you can push that nose down a little bit and reduce a little bit of power because now we do want to descend. There you go. Just keep that nose down. Keep that nose down. Keep it down. Fight that urge to pull it up. Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. All right, now you can go power idle. You have a great day. Appreciate and just hold the nose to the end of the runway. Release it just a little bit. And just hold the nose right there. Just hold it right there. Welcome to the ground. And then keep the aileron into the wind so it doesn't push, pull that nose up. Flaps up. Retrim. Just a couple of rolls back. Full power, and off we go. Sweet. Welcome back to the sky. How do you feel? That's all. That's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It yeah. is. It is a lot. You've got it though, man. You got nice airspeed control. I'll tell you that. I appreciate it. You know, with the the, the gusty stuff. I don't know where the gusts are coming from because it's it's not been reported today. But but very very nice. You you've got the same tendency as everybody else. You want to pull that nose up as soon as possible. Yeah. You know, it's that's going to stall you. You just keep that nose down with with the right airspeed. You can keep the nose down and just bring it down nice and gentle to the runway. Thank you.